Ashmika of Cadder 8. Hi, I'm Karthika of Cadder 7. Hello everyone, this is Ashia Maria from same grade. We are from J Medication High Secondary School. Today we are going to explain about different types of microbes. Microorganisms play a vital role in our day to day life. Some of the microbes are very harmful and they can spread various diseases like bacteria can spread tuberculosis and cholera, likewise viruses can spread cardono, polio, ebola and etc. But we are going to tell about beneficial viruses in various structures. I am going to explain the benefits of microbes in medicine. Nowadays we are using many microorganisms in the production of antibiotics such as Penicillium notatum for penicillin, Streptomyces gross for streptomycin. Penicillium notatum. Penicillins are produced by Penicillium chrysogenum, which is earlier called as Penicillium notatum. Naturally occurring penicillins are Penicillium G, which is given by intramuscular injections, and Penicillin B is also given, but it is given only to treat several infections. Streptomyces gross. Streptomyces gryces to a green positive bacterium with high GC content along with most other streptomyces. Streptomyces gryces strains are well known producers of antibiotics and other such commercially significant secondary metabolites. These strains are known to be the producers of 32 different structural types of bioactive compounds. Now my friend Kartika is going to continue. Benefits of microorganisms in plants. The two types of microorganisms are considered to benefits beneficial to plant health. Mycorrhizal fungi and rhizobium. Mycorrhizal fungi. Mycorrhizal fungi is associated with plant nutrients such as phosphorus and this can enhance the growth of plants, crops and trees. These fungi absorb carbohydrate from the host plant food and passes the nutrients such as phosphorus and zinc. Rhizobium, it is a bacteria found in soil that helps in fixing of nitrogen under the soil and it attaches to the roots of the gaminous plant and produces nodules. These nodules, these nodules with atmospheric nitrogen and can convert them to ammonia that can be used by the plant for its growth and development. Now Asha Maryam is going to continue. Benefits of microorganisms in cut. Lactobacillus is, is a microorganism is used in making cut. It converts lactose of the milk into lactic acid which imparts the sour taste in curd. Curd is a great probiotic that contains good beneficial bacteria not to promote gut activity. Soothe the inflamed digestive system and heals an upset stomach. Benefits of microorganisms in bread. Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Saccharomyces cerevisiae is an important, import, important microbial consortia of sour dough. Steamed bread plays a key role as a limiting agent by producing carbon dioxide through the alcoholic fermentation of sugar and thus increase the volume of fluff. Saccharomyces cerevisiae is used as a great probiotics in humans and animals. Yeast. Yeast is a type of unicellular microbe that contains good beneficial bacteria not to promote. So we hope that really we gave an useful information about microbes and we thank our school management for giving great opportunity to us.